A moment of joy, a moment of satisfaction. We are assembled around this altar. My thoughts first goes to the moment when I am installed as Bishop of Shamshabad. You are a bishop, according to me, going to be on wings and wheels. The vast territory, you have to travel a lot. Wish you all the best. Holy See looks after you to see how diligently and prudently you are going to settle this vast territory given to you. It is 23 states, four union territories, two islands. <laughs>
can very well do that. So every new change inspires new vision and new leadership and new models of mission. And I'm quite sure that in the person of our dear Bishop Thomas Padiath, Itawa and Jebu missions also can, also will be able to, uh, to try new models of mission, which will really result in a better evangelization of this country. When the Itawa mission is gaining a new direction in its course, I, as I said, we are actually losing an efficient collaborator at the Park El Curia. I personally cherish the days while Bishop Hariath was my colleague at the Park El Curia. I can assure you all that he will uh, offer you a wonderful leadership. He's a great leader, great organizer. He will love you. He will work hard for you. occasion, let me express our deepest gratitude to the Father and Head of our Church, Major Archbishop George Cardinal Alan Chedi, under whose leadership Sero Malabar Church has, come, has become a global church <coughs> and for appointing us as auxiliary bishops of Shamshabad. Today, the dream of the pioneer missionaries of Itawa and their successes also get realized to a certain extent. Here we gratefully remember the Agra Archdiocese. All the speakers have extensively spoken about that. Especially two great missionary metropolitans, Archbishop Dominic Atait and Anthony Cardinal Padira, former Archbishop of Chengalashiri and the first major Archbishop of Syro Malabar Church, whose ecclesial vision and missionary zeal made Itawa mission a reality. This beautiful day was made graceful with the combined effort of many. His Excellency Ma Rafael Tatil deserves our deepest gratitude and love for his constant support and